Today's round at Palatka Golf Course in Florida. Uh, good good uh, weather day, 80 and sunny, a little bit of breeze, but I uh, was working on the Malaska move again and tipping the shaft and also came across uh, an old video of mine or of that I used to watch on uh, for Monty Scheinbloom, which is the no turn cast drill, and I'll link that in the description. And I noticed uh, playing this round, and I, I did a range session earlier also, that they're basically, in my mind, the same, almost the same thing. Um, if you watch the Shine Bloom video, you'll see that his no turn is basically just set your wrists at the top of the swing. Don't try to do anything else. And then the cast is you literally try to cast the club, throw, you know, lose your angles immediately from the top at transition. And that's kind of what Malaska has, how I interpret his tipping the shaft because Malaska has even quoted Jack Nicholas as saying that when he gets to transition, he basically can't release the club soon enough from the top, which basically means getting the club head, the weight of the club head out in front of you and not behind you on the downswing. And with Shine Bloom's um, no turn cast drill, you're basically doing that from the top top of the swing at transition you're just throwing throwing those angles immediately from the top and my intent was at least on this in this round was to keep the club head the weight of the club head in transition out in front of me and it's counterintuitive um, it's hard to make yourself do that, but when you do, it, uh, the results are pretty good. So I, I did, uh, I think I videoed seven out of the nine holes. I played through a group, I believe after this hole on a par five that I parred and then I didn't record nine, but I think I got all the other ones. So I think this, I'm here now on the third hole, par three, that was 190 yards. I think I had a four iron, hit it, hit it solid, but just a little bit long and left and chipped up to here. And that was a really quick putt. Again, these are Donald Ross uh, greens. Well, it's Donald Ross course, but typically his Green complexes are very difficult. Small greens, elevated greens, lots of slope around the greens. So um, if you don't hold the green, in the, you know, typically you're rolling not just off the green, but you know another 10, 15, 20 yards sometimes. So this is the par five. After the par five, I missed recording. So back-to-back -back par fives. And that was a nine iron. I had to chip under that tree. It was about a hundred yard shot. Hit it really well. Kind of kept it low. I think I am two over at this point. And part of that hole. And this was definitely my best iron of the nine, an eight iron, about 155. Just, uh, yeah, again, really felt like I was throwing the angles out from the top, kind of trying to cast the club. And a pretty good putt for birdie, but uh, tap in par. This drive, I kind of hung out to the right and ended up in a bad spot. But somehow I, I got that four iron runner 
under all of those limbs and leaves and branches and got it about 25 yards short of the green. But this pin placement was at the top of the ridge on the green and then you could not, you just couldn't go over. I mean, it would have been down another slope and probably three shots to get back in the hole from, from behind the green. So it was probably a little too tentative and left that chip shot short, but a uh, pretty good lag putt. And tap it in for bogey, yeah, bogey five. And then this is the last hole I videoed and just pulled that a little bit too much to the left. And that clump of trees right where you see now is where they went, where the ball went and straight into the water. So that was my third shot that I had to keep low around those trees and did a pretty good job of that. So my fourth shot was a uh, about a 20 yard chip and was on the back side of this green and went just off the back edge. So not a bad lag putt, tip, tap that in for a double and end up five over. So there you go, a little bit of tip in the shaft and no turn cast. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.